Hey guys, so today I'm changing the wax ring on this toilet. Uh, this is my second time doing it. No, third time. Uh, so what I've got here is the siphon that I use uh, from the fish tank and a uh, trash can, paper towel, 11 millimeter or 7 sixteenths uh, socket, a uh, little putty knife, needle nose, hammer, some toilet shims because this toilet actually needs shims and that's part of the issue why I keep having to come back to this. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for starters, we're gonna drain this uh, water out of the back, or out of the toilet bowl. I'm using my siphon from the fish tank here. Uh, I went ahead and took off this front piece and this little filter piece so that it doesn't fall in there. And then you can see it just kind of And we just stick that down there and squeeze the little bulb to create the suction. The other end just goes straight into the tub. Okay, so that's done. Uh, now we're going to pop off this clip to your socket. Yes, son. I'm working on the toilet. Hold on. So now that you've got those bolts taken off, you just need to disconnect the water supply line. Uh, so just turn that to the left there and uh, have a little cup or a rag down there to catch any residual water in that hose. Uh, that may, that'll end up coming out. Uh, you can just go ahead and pull the toilet off. The only thing holding on there now is just the weight of the toilet. So, Daddy! Hold on though. Take it up straight off and slide it back. And there it is. So I've got this uh, standard size uh, wax ring here that came with the toilet, which uh, is a replacement for one that failed prior. Uh, I had a jumbo ring on this before. And before that, when we first purchased the home, uh, I think the people smashed two jumbo rings together or something uh, onto there. I don't know what they did, but it was just covered everywhere. And this adapter here, I actually added to it because the flange down there was completely rusted and rotted uh, with no place to hold these little anchor bolts here. So uh, what I'm gonna do, you can see this, I have water shooting out the side right here. Um, so I'm gonna add a new jumbo wax ring on and I'll show you in just a moment here. Uh, but this one, unfortunately, didn't do anything. I actually had water shooting out on this side as well. Um, so this one wasn't any help uh, for my situation. Okay, so what I do is I just take this plastic bag, pull this wax ring out, and we'll turn it back inside out. Set that down. Uh, in this case, I really didn't even need the putty knife. There's barely any wax to scrape off here. Here's the wax ring that I got. Um, this is what I used uh, for the first replacement, but I didn't add shims uh, right away and basically, you know, sitting on it, the toilet wobbled and kind of ruined the seal. Um, so then I replaced it with that ring I just pulled off a moment ago and that clearly wasn't doing anything. 
Uh, so we're gonna go back to this room, uh, throw it on there, and hope all is good with some shims. Um, so let's go ahead. What's one in there? I don't know, little nets or something. As you can see, this is a jumbo ring. Okay, well, these are the uh, hardware it comes with, which I don't need. Uh, and all you gotta do is take this. Excuse me, no, watch out for this. I'm just gonna slide this out very gingerly. And then take and set that on there as soon as possible. So the drain could. So the water will form when the toilet sits on there. It's going to smash that wax ring down and it's going to create a seal that's going to fall into that hole there. And then we tighten it back up and it should be done. Go ahead. It's down there. Yeah, it's gross, huh? It's just going to be sewer, man. Down there. It's gross. Okay, so let's go ahead and place the toilet back on. This is very heavy. It is very heavy. Okay. And you can feel it seat onto the wax ring. And you can give it a little bit of a wiggle left and right, but uh, in this case, the weight of the toilet with a little bit of water still in the back is enough to, to seat it down. Okay, now we're going to reconnect the water supply line, um, and then the toilet anchor bolts, and put some shims in there, and Hopefully this will be done with forever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide these shims in the toilet here. Okay, so that's it. So this toilet basically used two packs of shims. Um, these are about like five bucks each at Lowe's, and uh, yeah, we needed it. So I think that should take care of the issue, um, hopefully. Bye. Now let's put these bolts back on. Okay. That's done. So I've just got them snug on there. Um, you know, we don't want to over tighten them. And now we're going to go ahead and turn the water back on, flush it a few times, and see, see if we uh, have any leaks. Let's hope that we do not. Let that water refill. Yeah, I don't see any leaks as of yet, so I think job well done. Um, what we're going to do with these shims after we confirm that it's not leaking is we're going to uh, take a blade, razor, utility knife, and uh, score them, snap off those edges, and uh, that'll be it. Um, you can put caulking around the base, but I don't want to do that because if there's ever a leak again, I want to know that it's leaking before the whole bottom of the toilet just fills up with water. Um, 
so I'd rather see water coming out immediately. And uh, that's how you change your wax ring and add shims should you need it. Hope this video helped you guys.